What is up, Ladder Climbers? This is Antoine Wade, and I run the Black Heights channel where we talk about tech careers, education, and ways that you can achieve success in life. And in today's video, I will be talking about getting a degree in management information systems and what it will mean for your career in the tech industry. Okay, guys, before we get started, I want to let you know about the main topics which I am going to be touching on today. Number one, I'm going to be touching on what is a management information systems degree. Number two, I'm going to be touching on what roles or career paths this degree will set you up for. Number three, I'll be touching on the skills required for you to succeed in your chosen path. And number four, the overall tuition cost versus the average salary to expect once you become a professional. Now, if you like this kind of content, go ahead and hit that like button and comment on the video below. Go ahead and share this video because it may help someone looking into possible degrees. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Now let's get right to it. The first thing we are going to be talking about is what is a management information systems degree. And management information systems is a degree program that focuses on the study of people, technology, and organizations and how they all relate. And a large portion of the management information systems degree program focuses on data analysis, teamwork, leadership, project management, customer service, and the underlying business theories. And these aspects of the degree are what set management information systems professionals apart from computer science major. And if you have an interest in technology and have the desire to use technology to improve people's lives, then a degree in management information systems may be for you. The next thing we are going to be talking about is the role of a management information systems professional. And a management information systems professional creates information systems for data management, such as storing, searching, and analyzing data. And in addition, they manage various systems to meet the needs of their managers, the staff, and customers. And they work collaboratively with multiple members of teams and also with the customers and the clients. And management information systems professionals are able to play a key role in areas such as information security, integration, and data exchange. And as an MIS major, you will learn to design, implement, and use business information systems to innovate ways to increase the effectiveness and the efficiency of the organization that you are in. The next thing we are going to be talking about is career options. And management information systems gives you an opportunity to go down various career paths. A path that you can consider is an IT consultant. And IT consultants offer advice and expertise to organizations to help them improve their business performance in terms of operations, profitability, management structure, and strategy. And although the workload can be heavy, consulting is a sociable profession with plenty of networking opportunities. Another career is that of a web developer. And web developers create and maintain websites. And they are also responsible for the site's technical aspects such as its performance and the capacity which are measured of the website's speed and how much traffic the site can handle. And in addition, web developers may create content for the site. Another career path is that of an information systems manager. And information systems managers are responsible for the security and the effective operations of all computer systems related applications, hardware and software that is used within a wide range of public and private industries. Another career is that of a business intelligence analyst. And business intelligence analyst helps a company put the data it already collects to use in order to increase the company's efficiency and maximize profits. So if you think about it, they comb through large amounts of data by querying databases and they do this effectively and then they produce reports and identify trends to generate actionable business insights. Another career is that of a network administrator and network administrators work with hardware, software, computer infrastructures and entire information systems. And they ensure that everything runs smoothly and as it is designed. And a typical task 
includes setting up and upgrading new networks, identifying problems as they arise, and coming up with practical solutions. Another career is that of a business application developer, and their typical responsibilities include coding, designing, application management, troubleshooting, monitoring updates, and possible security threats, and providing end-user support. And they may also handle some project management tasks on the journey to building a new application. Another one which I really love is that of a systems analyst. And system analysts use analysis and design techniques to solve business problems using information technology. And systems analysts may serve as the change agents who identify the organizational improvements needed and they design systems to implement those changes and then train and motivate others to use those systems. Another role is a technical support specialist. And technical support specialists are responsible for assisting customers with technical issues or questions related to computer hardware or software devices. Another career option is that of a business analyst. And business analysts evaluate past and current business data with the primary goal of improving decision-making processes within the organization. Another option is that of a systems developer. And a system developer develops and implements applications and programs from the back-end processing systems used in businesses and organizations. And back-end process systems are the behind the scenes parts of the software that don't have a user interface except for administration purposes. The next thing we're gonna talk about are skills and some of the skills that are required for a management information system professional. Good problem solving skills are really important and it really helps to make you a trusted and valuable member of a team that can help save the team time and money. Another skill is to become a effective time manager and a manager of resources, which results in the contribution of profitability for the organization. Another skill is to have a clear vision of the big picture as well as small details. Another skill I would say is that of desire to work closely with other people. So team building, as you will be part of a team and not working in isolation, which is also why having excellent communication skills is very important. Another skill to have is that to be able to strategically think and also to think about technology. As technology evolves quite quickly, you will need to be adaptable in that regard. And a desire to take responsibility for developing and implementing your own ideas. After all, you will be part of the team where you will be in the forefront, not only creating, but managing information systems. And the last thing we will discuss is the tuition cost versus the average salary. And management information systems programs is about 23,000 for undergraduate programs and about 18,000 for graduate programs. And keep in mind that this can change depending on whether you're studying in state or out of state, as well as various other variable factors that may exist such as room and board and all this other stuff. But the average annual wage of a computer and information systems manager is about $156,000. And this makes for a really good annual income. And there you have it, folks. If playing a key role in areas such as information security, integration, data exchange, or analysis and design, implementing new software, hardware, and stuff like that, if you are interested in into that, then management information systems is your best bet. Now, let's get the conversation going in the comment section. Let me know what enlightened you about this video. Also, talk about your experience while you are obtaining a management information system degree. And if you haven't done so already, let's make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Do make sure you like this video and share with those who can benefit from it. This will be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys for joining me today, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.